let's talk about how you guys can boost your testosterone naturally. See, over the years, actually every year, men's testosterone levels are declining and it is a travesty. There are more weak men in this world than there ever has been in history. Men with no muscle, right? Men who have zero energy, no ambition or drive to do anything great in this world, right? So let's talk about a few things you can do today to increase your testosterone. First thing that comes to mind, sleep. You must sleep to have optimal testosterone, preferably seven or eight hours, right? If you can do that every single night, you will already be beating most men and have higher testosterone levels. That's the easiest thing you can do. I know so many guys who stay up late for no reason at all, right? Maybe they're watching Netflix late at night, playing video games, right? Smoking weed, doing some bullshit, smoking weed, and then, and then they go ahead and eat some Twinkies and pizza, right? And then they wake up feeling like shit. And they didn't even get the, the sleep that they did get wasn't even good quality sleep because their body was working on digesting rather than working on sleeping, right? But that's the first thing you need to do. Get your sleep in order. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every single day, Monday through Sunday, right? I don't care about the weekend. You understand? You have to stick to a schedule because your body does not understand what a weekend is. It does not understand what a day off is, okay? Your body is on a set schedule every single day. If you can stick to that, guys, I promise you, you're going to feel a whole lot better. And the reason you feel so much better is because your testosterone levels have risen. Next thing, lifting weights. Guys, we should, you should know this by now. You should be lifting weights, right? No male looks attractive without muscle. All right, there's, there's some skinny boys who get away with it. Girls like skinny boys, some of them. Um, and to be honest with you, a lot of girls like skinny boys because they like having a feminine man that they can have control over. Sorry to all the skinny boys out there. That's a thing that I've seen. It's very common. A lot of my skinny friends or skinny people I know have a girlfriend who runs their whole life, right? Um, so that's another thing, building muscle, get in the gym every single day, right? Lift some weights. It's not that hard and you don't have to do anything crazy, right? You don't need to become a bodybuilder, right? Hit the pull-up bar, do some push-ups, right? Do some burpees, grab some dumbbells, do some curls, do some shoulder flies, some chest press, right? It's not that complicated, and try and get in there as much as you can, preferably, I mean, at least three, four times a week, right? Get in the gym, lift weights. That's the second thing you can do. Third thing, diet. This is such a big one. And if you are a young man and you can get this locked in early, right? You will be set up for life, right? Most young men that I know, right? I'm 20 years old. I'll be 21 fairly soon, but 20 years old right now, most 20 year olds eat like garbage, all right? They're shoveling a bunch of shit, you know, in, in their face with seed oils, with refined sugars, with refined flour, all this processed garbage food with dyes and, and food coloring and all this stuff, right? First thing, when you're, when you're drinking something, right, it should only be water, guys. Water or some fresh fruit juice, maybe, sometimes, right? That's occasionally, but water should be your number one drink that you're drinking at all times. Could be flat water, could be sparkling water. Sparkling water is a great option, great for digestion, and it um, keeps you satiated, right? It actually makes you feel full. So sparkling water is excellent. I actually started drinking it a lot more recently, would highly recommend, and drink out of glass, right? Don't buy plastic if you can avoid that. Um, obviously, you're not going to, it's not going to happen every single time, but right, I know people who drink out of plastic every single day, just like I used to, every day, right? 
and it's it's fine once or twice to do that. Every once in a while, you're like, man, all the all that that's available to me is water in a plastic bottle. Um, I'm, I have to drink something, right? So it's okay every once in a while. But yeah, your primary drink should be water. And then don't listen to all the media propaganda that says a plant-based diet is better for you. This, guys, this aggravates me so much. I mean, I'm a huge nutrition guy and plant-based diets are so bad for your testosterone. It is unbelievable, right? You cannot get all the nutrients that you can get from meat, eggs, right? Um, organs, um, what else? Fish, all these plant foods, right? Even things like butter, right? Raw dairy, like these foods contain so many essential nutrients that are so good for our testosterone. Things that you wouldn't even expect, like a food like oysters, incredibly high in zinc, which is a is a, it directly correlated to increased testosterone. If you look it up online, oysters, one of the best testosterone boosting foods. Also red meat, all the insane nutrients in there. Vitamin K, vitamin B12, right? Um, folate, riboflavin, all these essential nutrients. Eggs, I mean, the and and. This is a, is a hack for you guys, right? They, all these people are saying, yeah, do egg yolks. I mean, uh, egg whites, sorry. People are only eating the egg whites. Why would you only eat the egg whites? Yes, they have some nutrients in it, but the main source of the nutrients is found in the yolk. That golden yolk contains so many essential things that can increase our testosterone, right? So... That's what I would say about diet. Don't listen to all the vegan propaganda, right? Cut out the grains. Grains are terrible for you. Things like white rice, um, quinoa is okay. Um, but, you know, bread, like cut out grains where you can. They're very bad for you uh, to have all the time. First of all, they bind onto other food that you eat and um, kind of allow, cause that food to not be absorbed well by the body. I, I know I'm not a nutrition expert, but I've learned about this a lot over time. And I'm just trying to make sure that I'm saying the right things to you guys. Also things like uh, spinach or kale. I would highly recommend you guys go look at Paul Saladino, where he talks about things like spinach and kale containing high amounts of oxalates and heavy metals. And cacao also, like I think raw cacao 100%, you know, pure cacao could be good for you, but it also is high in heavy metals. So you got to watch out for stuff like that as well, right? So go for an animal-based diet instead to increase your testosterone. Um, some people are good without carbs. Some people are better with carbs. Me personally, I need some carbohydrates in my diet. Uh, I'm more of a, a low carb kind of guy uh, overall in my diet, but I need some like fruit, um, when I cut fruit out of my diet, I feel worse. Um, so I've tested a lot of diets. I've, I've gone, uh, plant-based, right? I've done vegetarian. I haven't really done vegan. Um, I I've done it kind of like really close to vegan. Uh, and I felt weaker. Like I actually felt weaker. So I wouldn't do that. Um, and your digestion will be much better, man. I, I, I remember when I was shoveling down huge salads and, and all this shit and beans and rice. And, and I'm just like trying to make myself full by consuming so much volume. My digestion would be horrible, right? So yeah, diet, the third thing. So, so far we covered sleep, right? Sleep, super important. We've covered diet and we've also covered, um, what's the third one we've covered guys? Um, sleep, diet, lifting weights, right? The next one that I would say is you need to get out there and walk and get some sunlight. I know so many people who get up in the morning, right? Roll out of bed, go commute to work. Um, and you know, maybe you're going and getting some sun, but guys don't ride those electric scooters. 
that everyone's riding around this city that I live in. I'm in Boston. Everyone's riding electric scooters. What's the deal with that, guys? Like, and, and I'm sorry, but almost every single person that I see riding an electric scooter is overweight, right? You're not doing anything. At least if you're riding a bike, you're getting some kind of exercise. If you're riding an electric scooter, you're just standing there and letting something propel you forward and not doing any kind of movement, right? If you need to walk um, to, to where you're working or, or whatever you do, like, make sure you get like an hour of walking in, in a day. Super important. Being sedentary is terrible for your testosterone. Go out there, walk, get some sunlight, get some fresh air. It'll make you feel a lot better. So look guys, these are some things that are really simple that you can start doing today, right? It's, it, it really is easy. Sleep more, cut out the junk food, start eating cleaner, get in the gym, start lifting weights, go out and get some sunlight, right? Take some good vitamins, vitamin D, um, take creatine as a supplement. That's something I'd recommend. But yeah, guys, I think a lot of this is intuitive. We know what to do, but we don't do it anyways. And it's so difficult for me to watch young men just struggling, um, low testosterone, right? They can't put on any muscle. They don't sleep. They're always tired. Um, and, you know, going back to the sleep thing, um, I want to relate this to uh, relationships as well as the final thing, right? I know a lot of guys who will stay up all night on the phone with their girlfriend, okay? Um, if you're a young man, you have friends who do this or maybe you do it yourself. And if you do, I'm, I'm sorry. I feel bad for you. Um, a lot of guys just let their girls keep them up all night um, and they suffer as a result. So find yourself a girl who is on the same page as you, who's also on that journey of improvement, who isn't so, you know, it's, it's okay to be somewhat insecure, to not have that self-confidence. Um, you know, people work on that their entire lives, but it's often the super insecure girls who will do that to their boyfriends. Um, so get in the right relationships too. Find the right girl who's with you on all this, um, who's mature, who understands you're on this journey of improvement and supports you on that, right? And if she can't support you on that, find a new girl, all right? So that's the final thing. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Uh, I'm really grateful for you. I actually just launched a new school community, right? Called the Discipline Institute. This is where young men come together to level up, right? And it doesn't have to just be really young men, like not just teenagers, but guys in their 20s, 30s, whatever it is, but young guys who are ready to level up, who are tired of being victims of the system, right? I've been able to break out of all this systemized thinking that they put me through, right? College for me was simply a funnel to get me to go work a job. And I never wanted to work a job. I wanted to be a business owner. So I decided to go out and do it and hustle, right? That's how I signed my first client. And that's how I've been rolling it in. That's how I've been able to do things for myself and feel so good about myself. Like I can look at the man in the mirror now and say, wow, like you're really leveling up in all areas, all areas of your life, right? Financially, right? Relationship wise and health wise, like, and that's the trifecta that we want to have. So in the Discipline Institute, that's where you're going to get, get this stuff. You're going to get all the secrets that I learned going from a bum, smoking weed, right? Zero confidence, going nowhere in my life, vaping, pornography, all this stuff, doing all the wrong things. And then I flipped the switch one day, but it wasn't one day, right? It was one day I decided, but then there was a whole series of events that happened after that. I had to start eliminating things from my life. People don't understand it's eliminating things rather than introducing things into your life that makes the bigger difference, All right? So I had to do all these things. I learned so many lessons along the way about how to level up, how to go from hopeless to, you know, feeling like a superhero. And that's what I want for you guys. I want to help anyone who is stuck in the position that I was once in. 
And even if you aren't down that bad, or if you're even worse, right? I want you in there. I want us all leveling up together and I want to make a big difference in your guys' lives. And I want you to spread that to everyone around you because young men and men built this society that we see today and young men are going to build the future. We need to make sure we're strong. Our testosterone, testosterone is sky high. So we're able to do all these things and, um, you know, have a greater future. So I want to thank you for watching today's video. Link in my description for the school group. Join today. I'm really excited to see you in there. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.